Well, hello there, story seekers, fable finders, legend lovers. I am your guide, your storyteller, your friend, Shahedat Zada, Zada for short, the weaver of 1001 tales. Which shall I tell you today? Ah, yes, Aladdin and the Stolen Stories. Chapter two. Aladdin, Margot and Lupe arrived at the Cave of Curiosity. Margot promised she could open it with a spell and Aladdin's help. You see, the password she needed could only be found in the first stolen story, Ali Baba and the Forty Thieves. I found it, the password, open sesame. Now Aladdin, when I cast the spell, you shout the password from the first stolen story and the cave will open. And I'll go in, find the treasure and live happily ever after with a giant house, fleet of sports cars, private island and bathtubs full of diamonds, rubies, Yes, 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 but not before. I bring you the lamp. No funny business, eh? We'll be watching you on CBTV. You what? Crystal Ball TV. Stolen story, show this knave a legendary hidden cave. Hear his long voice, password motto. Open up this magic grotto. Stolen story, show this knave a legendary hidden cave. Hear his long voice, password motto. Open up. Magic grotto. The password, Aladdin! Now! Open sesame! Here it goes. Aladdin crept into the cave and out of sight. Whilst Margot and Lupe watched his every move on an enchanted crystal ball, to make sure he brought her back the lamp she desired so much. Wow, this place is incredible. Oh, look at that ring. Just needs a little polish. <laughs> Welcome, Master, to the Cave of Curiosity. I am the Genie of the Ring. You what? Genie of the- That's right, the ring. Jokes to yourself, please, thank you. What do you do? I'm a guide, here to keep you safe, well, as long as you wear the ring. Wow. So, where to first, Master? Well, I'm looking for a lamp. <gasps> Office. Table. Bedside? Something modern in a neutral, or perhaps a little bolder. Fuchsia, maybe. No, 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 no. A magic lamp. Ah, yes. I know just the one you mean. Follow me, and I'll take you to it. Welcome aboard the Cave of Curiosity Express. Boop, boop. Your guide today shall be me, the genie of the ring. Please keep all feet, legs, hands, arms, wings, and young children inside the vehicle at all times. Oh, en route, if you drop any of your possessions, you wave at me, and I'll wave at you, and together we'll wave goodbye to your possessions. Onwards! <laughs> If you look here, you will see the 40 Thieves Mountain of Treasure. Bit blingy for my taste, but if you enjoy huge piles of gold and jewels, I can see the appeal. Don't dilly-dally now. And here are the three wonders that help save Princess Naranahar. The mystical spyglass, the healing apple, and the Persian rug. 
Ah, there'll what? be time for questions at the end. And just across there is where the wreckage of Simbad the Sailor's ship went down. And over here is the ancient spell book of Princess Amala. And finally, here we are, as requested, one magic lump. Is that it? That's the one. It looks pretty unmagic to me. Have you got it yet? I think so. Look. Jeannie, what's so special about this lamp? How come Margot wants to get hands on it so much? Well, it contains the second stolen story. Take a look. The Jinn and the Fisherman. Legend tells of five stolen stories. They were taken years ago and scattered across five hidden locations waiting to be found by somebody worthy when they need them most. What's he dawdling for? Mistress, your blood pressure. Oh. Stop getting riled up. It's just stolen stories. Now, take a nice deep breath in. Is it really worth it? <laughs> I'll go in and get him myself. It is thought that whoever holds all five stolen stories will be able to unlock all of the secrets of the universe. A great treasure indeed, but one that could be very dangerous in the wrong hands. Like Margot, say. Aladdin! Where is my love, you little wretch? We had a deal. When I find you, I'm going to tear you into little pieces and destroy this silly cave and everything in it! <laughs> Point proved. There's only one thing to do. We need to escape Margot and take this with us. We mustn't let her get her hands on it, but how? Ah, that's where the stolen story can come in useful. Within the tale lies a clue that can help you, well, us, have the power to be able to escape the cave. <sighs> I'm coming for you, Aladdin! You can't hide from me! <gasps> Aladdin, you forgot the lamp! Our hero, Aladdin, held the second stolen story in his hands. The Jinn and the Fisherman. He hoped, like the genie had said, that it would hold a clue for how to escape the Cave of Curiosity and trick Margot. Did he succeed, you ask? Well, you'll have to wait and see. That's the second part of our tale told. We'll be back soon to find out what happens next, but in the meantime, just like Aladdin, you too can enjoy the first and second of the found stories. Just follow the story map for your nearest park and look for the QR code which will unlock the story. You can also watch them from home using the stay at home story map. Till next time. <laughs>